it's been over two years since I've been in this creek there's not many left I've got people that have found me and they're getting in the same creeks but they're not as good at it as I am <laughs> I'm just kidding actually I'm a skilled creek technician if you knew the channel what I do me and my bride is get in every creek we can everywhere sometimes we talk loud sometimes we're quiet like in this one she's not here with me because this one is in a little more unique part of town where there are a lot of stray dogs that chase you so she opted out of this one But the interesting thing about towns or going through cities is all the stuff you find. And that's what we do and what we look for. Like that big brass fitting right there that we will harvest. And there'll be more, and there'll be more interesting stuff. So stick with me. You never know what you're gonna find or what it is like this. This is like a glass pipette, but it's got electrical tape wrapped around the end. No idea, but we shall harvest. The green rocks are like walking on glass with ice on it. So you gotta kinda try to avoid them. Or you will fall down. I do remember this one spot to my left, which I'm not gonna show you, is a place that has dogs that can easily get out of their fence. So you should always whisper when you're in here and don't fall down because they will hear you as you moan laying on the bottom. If you wanna see uh, like sneak peeks of everything I find early before the video comes out, then check out our uh, Facebook page. Sorry, I see something of incredible beauty. It's an electrical fixture type thing and there's a piece of copper. That's what I was gonna tell you is, hang on a minute. check out our Facebook page check out the reels and you'll see almost everything we find but only in 30 second versions unless you enjoy hanging out with me for the full trip which I do like and appreciate you can come see me here when we get to the end down there that way where it flows under the city we're not going under there today but we're going to come back up and swish in all these little spots and it should be a guaranteed library but I'm not sure as the wind is blowing out of the southeast you know that plays a big role in it like a uh, Quincy's role or Western Sism some kind of role I really don't want to fall down I think we'll go back up. We'll come back down here now. There's still people in town driving around too much. It needs to get a little later. Been scratching around in here. Nothing yet. Hop, here's the library. No, that is a wheat. That has been in there so long, it's thinner than a dime. That's pretty impressive. So that is a wheat scent from the Revolutionary War. I'm just kidding. Not from the Revolutionary War. Look at that little uh, shell, snail right there. Those are great. I'm gonna put this in the pocket so I don't lose it. A little crack scratcher is the best thing. That's a piece of iron. 
See, that looks like a corner there. Is not. That rock is not supposed to move, but it does. I do have a right glove with me. So I can see. But so far, I don't need it. We might in a minute. These are some of my most favorite spots, which is some of the oldest coins and everything gets stuck in here. The only problem with it is you stay bent over doing this a long time. Not only does your back get sore, but you stand up and there's somebody standing over you. Waiting for the opportunity to say, hey, what are you doing? At which point you reply, I'm looking for snakes. Oh, there's another library, look. You just use your hands, dude. Okay, well, I will. That one is a library. It is zinc and coming apart. You can almost fold it in your hand, but I'm not going to. Well, I mean, I could fold it in mine. You can fold it in yours because you're not standing here. Check this out. I was doing this, as I always do, and threw that out. I thought it was just a nothingness, but that is actually a gold ring. It's been in there, it's worn out. But look at it. I'm 100% sure it's gold because of how it looks. And I found so many before. Isn't that amazing? Ha! I had to stop and take some pictures of it. It's amazing to me. It's amazing because, I mean, I shouldn't be amazed. I have found so many gold rings now. And there was a time when I thought, man, I want to find a gold ring. And then I found one. And then I found another one. And then my bride found one. Sometimes you get a weed eat. I found the quickest way to verify if it's gold too or not that when you get back to the base camp you run over with a metal detector but it looks like it's been down there for a long time hey I didn't see that why don't you tell me that's a canicle nice the K is silent so I harvested the nickel. The rest of the stuff needs to be cleaned. You can't possibly get all the nails and stuff out of here because there's so many. And you can go back and watch my other videos. It's uh, overwhelming how much metal there is in city creeks. That's every city creek everywhere I've been. In every state I've been in. See, there still could be a coin land down there, but there's always a needle. That is actually a pin. And these gloves don't help. No gloves help when you get a direct stick. Believe me, I've tried a million different pairs, and y'all have sent me a million different pairs, which I greatly appreciate. But nothing. Is that another ring? Oh my goodness, it is. Here's another ring. That one is silver. Get the whammy jammy out of here. It's got a little green on it. Wait. <laughs> I'm excited. I gotta take a picture of my breath. The only time I found two rings close together like that has been under the city. And I am at the spot before it flows under the city. 
which is awesome if, if it's real slick in between all the rocks everything's gonna get washed in and on down so sometimes it's worth doing that and sometimes it is not worth doing that like that I don't think is oh, it might be deep enough to be worth it I just I'm, I have had a multitude of shots my vaccinations <laughs> no I'm not trying to see if you like vaccinations I'm talking about rabies and tetanus because that's crazy that thing was under one oh man I ate before I came which is always a bad idea that thing was under, uh, what am I trying to say, one blade of grass or some grass. It's just an iron rod, but there could be something else stuck in there. There's not. This is a really good spot, although there doesn't look like there's much stuck in it. But a corn could be down in there and be stuck all by itself. And the best way to get it out is like that. And I don't see anything, and I don't think you can see. just stuck in me oh there is look there's a uh, that is a standard issue library that one's done some rolling time too it's getting a little thinner than it should be thinner thinner this is another superb crack we've made it up about three cracks so far not going in there Ah, look at that. There is a case quarter right off the bat. You can tell it's been underwater forever. That is a modern case quarter. And so cool. Sometimes I forget to turn the camera back on like I did a minute ago. And I found a library. But that was it. Along with the case quarter. But I came down through here and then I realized I didn't have a camera in my hand just got away and carried the rings are awesome I don't understand why that well that one's laying on the grass I know but that's the easiest way if you got good clear water to get started and get the big stuff out nothing that is a piece of lead that goes on a roofing nail that is a sign that fall is in the air love is in the air <laughs> nobody knows the rest of the words of that song there's a coin smell dead worms I've got to where I can smell worms that is a shield scent penny not a library wish I harvest I just pulled out that neat piece of lead that was laying there I forgot to show you too I've already man pursed it so once it's man pursed it's kind of hard to break it back out nails Ah, there's another library. Yes. Standard issue library. We shall harvest. In the pocket. Right there. But I took that piece of lead out. It's a beautiful piece of lead and I named it Fred. Later on this evening I'll take it to camp. 
and put it in my bed. And I'll lay Fred close to my head because he's a pretty piece of lead. Look at that little lock of many pads. It's like a coat of many colors. But yet, it's only about three. Green, brown, and black. And again, I forgot to turn the camera on, but I just pulled a dime out of there. It was rare. It was one of the rarest ones there ever is. It's brown. But, you know, then again, all the coins in here are brown. Ooh, that looks like a good dirty hole to scratch. That looks like a good spot. I got mosquitoes in my face and they won't go. I got them biting on my head. They don't want time to chew on my lead named Fred. Smash them. I see nothing. Harvesting. I just cracked scratch that mosquito. Nothing. At least I keep moving. These are always good spots when there's larger rocks stuck on the bigger rocks because it means the hole may be a little bit deeper than you anticipated. And it is. Yet there does not appear to be anything in there. Oh my goodness, the worms are dish. Smell them, they smell like dead fish. See, that's a good spot. There should be six rings in there, but there's not. So give me that, let's go. We need a deeper hole. See that? No, wait a minute, how'd I miss all this? That's where we found library case cool nickel and something else. I don't think this is really deep. If the smooth rocks on the deepest part, yeah, not deep enough. And we looked in those. I think my short tussa are falling off. And that looks like a good spot because there is one nail hanging out. I know you can see is my reflection. I'm gonna try and work on that in a minute, but hang on. Let's just look. I thought that was the ring, didn't you? Let's get it to the light. No. That is a steel staple. notice I only brought the right glove today probably not because you can't see my left hand but if you could you would notice that it's all I brought today see if that's a whole can oh this gets rubbing it over like that if that's the whole can which is not that's half a bottle we will harvest that which means there's probably nothing here or here too smooth Let's get our stuff and travel. I thought it was done. But there's a chain to a bicycle. And there is a fork or a spoon. I don't know which would be the wonder. So I think we're going to play a few more minutes. It's getting too dark to continue this journey. When we get up to the wagon, I'll show you what we have. But uh, there's too many people walking the streets. So time to go away from here. Now there's some guy hollering at me. This lady just came up to me. You can see where I am. This is a an alley and I'm parked on the edge. I'm on the right of way of the power poles, which is 25 feet according to most city ordinances. And uh, she come walking home with two dogs hollering at me, get off her lot, and then some other guy come out hollering at me. I said, yeah, I'm leaving. Okay, before it gets dark, I'm in another part of town. Had to get away from there. I thought that ring right there might be silver, but I think it's just kind of some kind of cheap metal. It is pretty cool. This one does say 10K on it. I don't understand the back of it. On the other side, we found a couple of nickels. The diamonds and libraries. 
I want to complain about that lady and that guy that hollered at me, but I'm gonna chalk it up so they don't know any better. And I'm glad she kept her dogs on a leash. Because like a lot of people say about snakes, the only good dog is a... I'm just kidding, don't get triggered. Thanks for watching my videos.